Well, it's a beautiful day in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Well, yes, Joan and I are in Vicksburg, Mississippi, and uh, we've been wanting to come here for a couple years. I've been wanting to do some of the Civil War sites. I'll be showing some of those to you, and just really history of Vicksburg, and just so much to offer here. We've been, this is our third attempt to come here, and we finally made it. Pretty excited. I want to show you the campground that we're staying in. We wanted to find something that was close to downtown and close to all the sites, so we've stayed at the Ameristar Casino Campground. Nice clean campground, lots of security. Wow, I found out this place is really popular. A lot of people who are going east to west on I-20. Then this is a, like a midpoint between Dallas and wherever they're going east or vice versa, getting a lot of people. A lot of people just sometimes just staying here for one night, two, three nights. And of course it is associated with the casino. So the casino's right across the street. Joan and I did the buffet, Oh, we're miserable. But one of the things that I like, we're probably two to three miles from all the historic events, historic sites, downtown, you're just very, very close proximity. I'll show you the campground here. It's, it's really nice, it's super clean, full hookup, about half the sites are 50 amp, half are about 30 amp. But uh, you've got cable, you've got um, water, and you've got full hookup sewer, so that makes it nice as well. And they're a little close, but they're not bad. Um, you can throw everything out, you know, as far as your your um, awnings and those types of things, and you don't run into each other. And um, you know, it's it's a nice little campground, and the rates are really pretty good too. Everything is a hundred percent paved, so uh, you've got very nice, uh, wide open uh, asphalt drive through here. Every site is uh, concrete. You see they've already done a little bit of winterization from last year, it's still on here. And you'll see you've got uh, a very nice, these are looks all, looks like new picnic tables. Um, some of these spots uh, have no shade, have none whatsoever. Um, these seem to be the ones that fill up very, very quick. Uh, they assign them first just because you do have shade. And we lucked up, there you see the gateway and the big gray wonder. Uh, you see we got this massive tree. I don't know how we lucked up and got that thing. Maybe we should have gone to the casino. Uh, but that thing is big. Come here and I'll show you what the site looks like. So here you can uh, actually see where the truck is at and the gateway. And there's our nearest neighbor. They're from Birmingham, Alabama. So here's our spot. You see we got this nice big shade tree. Really comfortable. Um, every spot has a little concrete area. And uh, yeah, they are a little tight, but look, the, the reason that we're here is not to be able to take the amenities of the campground as much as to be able to see the area. So we call this a destination site. The only downside that I've had here is parking. We're 40 feet long and we're having to kind of straddle the truck to make it fit. Come on, I'll show you uh, the rest of the site and just a few other things around here as well. So you can see it's later in the afternoon and boy, when the sun starts getting ready to set down, this place fills up super fast. People are rolling in off the highways. But again, it is, these sites, they, some may have just a little bit of slope to them, but it's, you know, it's easy to level off pretty quick. Now tomorrow will be Sunday morning and this place will empty out like crazy. We came in on a Tuesday, and there was probably maybe 30% of the campers here. But I'm seeing everything from the small to the great big. I mean, 45 foot class A's, uh, 45 foot toy haulers, so it'll fit just about anything. The campground is located off of exit 1A, 1A off of I-20. So if you're going uh, west uh, out of Mississippi, right before you hit the big bridge going across the Mississippi River, at your last exit. And of course, if you're coming from Louisiana, it'll be right on your left as you uh, come in from Louisiana after you come across the big bridge. But it's a good midpoint. Uh, let me show you the office here because they've got some nice amenities that Joan and I took advantage of. This is the office in the lobby and now they close I think at 4 30 
But one of the nice things they do, it's really a nice lobby and it's air conditioned and you'll find out why <laughs> I'm really glad to have that. But they provide a nice seating area up here. And then you can come up and get your coffee in the morning if that's what you want to do. Office is right there. But let me show you what Joan and I really appreciated. We really needed to do laundry and uh, it was nice to be able to come into this very, very nice laundry room here. Really nice. And uh, do our laundry. We basically had the place to ourselves. And then, you know, as we waited on the laundry, we just uh, come up here and chilled out and enjoyed the air conditioned space. And uh, off to the right here, I won't go in there just in case they're being used. They've got really nice bath, bath facilities. So if you need those, two showers and um, restroom facilities in there as well, which makes it really, really nice. If you want to go to the casino, they provide a shuttle. They give you a number you can call. It's posted up here as well. And they'll pick you up and bring you back so you can enjoy that. And then you have the swimming pool area here, but it's uh, closed for the day, but it's very, very comfortable. You know, it's just a place to kind of come and chill out. It's nice to be able to have that. We didn't take advantage of it. We were just too busy doing everything else. So it was nice to be able to have that. So our shuttle person here has come to pick someone up. So in typical casino fashions, we, uh, we joined the club. <laughs> they give you, if you, you haven't been part of the uh, Ameristar group, they uh, actually give you $5 off to gamble for the first time. And then they give us $3 off the buffet if, you, if you're not a member of the club, preferred club, whatever it is. And then depending on what type of player you are, um, you get extra points, et cetera, et cetera. You may even have the opportunity to get your site comped. I have no idea what it takes to be able to gamble that much, <laughs> win or lose. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but uh, that's definitely not mine and Joan's forte. <laughs> but uh, we did go over there and play a little bit. No, we didn't win nothing. We didn't win nothing. Uh, I want to take you downtown for a few minutes. Uh, downtown, uh, the historical area is really cool and uh, it, it's worth a walk. Uh, there's some restaurants down there. There's a few other things. We've had some really good restaurants while we were here and uh, the downtown's pretty. It's, you know, it's got some old architecture, several things to see down there. I'm going to be showing you in uh, the next video, the old courthouse. Um, also went over to the uh, Battlefield Park, uh, the National Battlefield Park. And uh, you get to kind of two sides of the Civil War during that period. Uh, it's really quite chilling when you think about that, but I still think it's uh, an informative video. I hope you enjoy those over the next uh, week to come. Uh, but uh, here's downtown. I think you'll enjoy that. Well, as you walk around old Vicksburg, you see lots of this. There are Civil War cannons all over the place. And uh, off in the distance, you may can make it out past that big ton truck. Uh, is the Mississippi River. We're in the historic downtown area and it is a mix of restored and old and a little bit of new. Joan's checking out some of the things here. You can see some of the buildings are still still coming along but uh, we're gonna walk up here a little bit. I see some pretty ironwork. Love that ironwork and just see what some of these older buildings look like. Look at this. It's just called Porter Gallery over here. Look at this place. Love these old buildings. They're doing a great job bringing them back to life. Nice job. How to go Vicksburg? Isn't that pretty? Look at this beautiful building. Oh my gosh, this thing is stunning. Look at that ironwork. Look even up at the top. I wish I could zoom in for you. It's just gorgeous. Such a beautiful, beautiful restored building. That is really something. Even something we will call maybe more modern. Uh, I'm guessing this probably goes back to the 40s or so, maybe 50s. First National Bank and Trust Company, U.S. Depository. Look at that thing. And then you get right back in here into these pretty, pretty buildings. 
and more iron work. Joan, let's go over there. I see something called Key City. Let's go across the street over there. Get us something cold to drink. Look at Willingham's. Look at that pretty place. Oh my gosh, that's a pretty building. We found us a baby kitty in the window. And look at her looking at us. And it looks like she might have been spayed. Oh, look at that sweet kitty. <laughs> You're a sweet thing. We just find all kinds of interesting things in downtown Vicksburg. We have something to tell our kitties about now. We've just got all this pretty ironwork. That was really nice. It's a pretty old town. Lots of neat old buildings. And uh, restaurants scattered about. And then just general business. But it's pretty. Real pretty. So downtown was neat, wasn't it? It's was fun. Uh, Joan and I enjoyed that. Uh, I'll turn the camera around. I'm going to do a pan. So you'll see up in the distance, you'll see um, the kind of a red arch that you come through. There's an R pod coming in. You see Class A's, Class C's. You know, you're going to see these uh, big old fifth wheels like Joan and I have. It's a good sized campground. And it's convenient, and it's clean, and it's inexpensive, and it's exactly where we wanted to be coming to Vicksburg. Well, it's a fun place. Uh, we've had a great time here in Vicksburg. I hope you uh, enjoy the up-and-coming videos. We took several while we were here. Hope you enjoy those as they come up over the next several days. And um, it's taken us three years. Uh, we start, stop, start, stop to be able to get here to Vicksburg. I gotta tell you, it didn't disappoint. If you're a history buff, it is just pure haven for that. Uh, and if you like the Civil War stuff, um, add another couple points on it for that as well. You know, it's just another reason why Joan and I both, yeah, we really do love RV life. You'll never believe who I found. You ready? It's the Arkansas group. Yeah, it's chill time after a long drive. Go, yeah. Even though Georgia won by 50 something today over that poor little old team, it was awful. It was awful. That's right, that's right. Y'all are from what part of Arkansas? Northwest Arkansas. Northwest Arkansas. Great viewers, I appreciate it so much. Go hoggy dogs <laughs> 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 let me go get y'all a sticker